Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned to find the mean of grouped data by the assumed mean method. Today in this video, we will learn to find the mean of grouped data by the step deviation method. The following frequency distribution table shows the price of toys and the number of toys sold by a wholesaler. With the help of this data, find the mean price of the toys. Let's see. In order to find the mean of grouped data, we learned about the assumed mean method in the previous video, where we choose an assumed mean A from the Xi and represent the difference between each Xi and A by D. On this basis, we can solve this question too. And then, we multiply the Fi Di. But here, we see that the values of Di are large enough to cause an error. So, to avoid errors, we will study another method here. Let's try to understand this. Looking at the table carefully, we can say that all the values of column 4 are multiples of 50. If all the values of column 4 are divided by 50, then we get smaller values to multiply with Fi, where 50 is the class size of each class interval, which we represent by small h. Suppose, ui equals xi minus a by h, where a is the assumed mean and h is the class size. From which we calculate all the ui and construct a table. Since we have to find the mean, can you tell what we will have to do to proceed? Very good. Now we multiply each UI by FI. And get the sum of their products. And divide them by the sum of their corresponding frequencies. But you must be remembering that to obtain UI, we subtracted A from each XI and then divided it by h. Therefore, to find the mean, by substituting the value of ui in equation 1, the following formula is obtained. In the above formula, by substituting the values of the assumed mean a, class size h, summation fi ui and summation fi and solving, we get x equals 266.25. So, we can say that the mean of the toys would be 266 rupees and 25 paise. This method of finding the mean is called the step deviation method. Today in this video, we have learned to find the mean of grouped data by the step deviation method. In the next video, we will see interesting examples based on this.